I'm apologizing in advance for this video because the majority of it is actually going to turn sideways. So, I decided to leave it because I don't care that much about it, if I'm being honest. So, that's that. So, I guess this is the angle it's going to be at today. Since it's going to be at this angle, might as well turn on these lovely lights. I'll spice it up a bit. Um, this angle, I cannot even. Okay, so <laughs> my dog is right here, so cool. Daisy, move your face. Today, I am doing a 50 facts about me video. Um... I actually looked up questions and I think like a couple of them were repeated so I have like 51 yeah I don't know I'm just gonna go with it so the first question is are you named after anyone I am uh, the angel on top of the Christmas tree and beating the beast holy crap I just remembered so I actually filmed this video once already today as you guys may have seen on my snapchat um, and it got deleted, so we're doing it again. Uh, number two, when was the last time you cried? Like, a few days ago. Number three, do you have kids? Obviously not. I mean, not obviously, but I don't. Um, if no, how many do you want? I would say no more than two. I really only, like, want one, but, like, no more than two. Uh, number four, if you were another person, would you be a friend of yourself? I ought, I mean, yes, like, I, I don't think I'm that bad of a person. I think I'm pretty chill. So, yes, I would. Uh, do you use sarcasm a lot? I would say yes, for the most part I do. What's the first thing you notice about people? Uh, does appearance count? What is your eye color? I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but they are blue. Scary movies or happy endings? I like both, I guess. Um, favorite smells? I didn't even know how to answer this the first time. Like, okay, so if it comes to like body products, like lotions or perfumes or like, you know, just like, well, not necessarily perfumes, but any, I don't know how to explain it, but anyway, um, or like candles definitely like sugary things like sweet stuff like i have a candle that's like sweet sponge sugar so it's like cotton candy scented what's the furthest you've been away from home like florida do you have any special talents not really i mean like i think i'm pretty all right and like when it comes to art other than that if we're talking about secret talents not really but like i can pick stuff up with my feet i don't know I feel like that's a common thing. If not, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like this is kind of gross. And I don't really feel like it's a talent. I just think it's gross. Like, because whenever I do it, people are like, that's freaking disgusting. But, um, like, I can, like, swallow a spaghetti noodle and then, like, pull it back up out of my throat. I mean, <laughs> where were you born? Indianapolis. What's your zodiac sign and do you believe in it? I am a Leo. And... I guess it like depends. I mean, for the most part, not really, but I mean, I'll like read some of those like horoscope things and they'll be like pretty accurate, but um. What are your hobbies? Um, I like reading, writing, and like any type of art, I guess. Mostly just like drawing, but yeah. And baking. Uh, do you have any pets? I have two fish, a dog, and three cats. Do you have any siblings? I have two older sisters and one younger brother. What do you want to be when you grow up? This has changed so many times, but I originally wanted to go to college for like graphic design, so like something with that. I didn't like that, so I'm gonna go to college for like, um, being like, to be like a news broadcaster, I guess. I mean, that'll probably change too, but you know, that's just where I'm headed right now. I really wish these ads went away. We have like a full like minute of this ad left.
we're gonna continue anyways. Who was your first best friend? Um, Marissa and Paige. Shout out to you. Um, I am still friends with them, so... How tall are you? I am 5'5", five, five, I guess. I really didn't think I was, but I guess I am. So what is the le- what is your- mm -hmm. What is the least favorite thing about yourself? I swear, that's like the way they worded it on the website. I- My least favorite thing about myself. Um, I would say probably... The fact that like, I get moody way too easily, like... I'll like say something to someone, I'm like, wow, <laughs> like I'll have such an attitude, I'm like, why? Like, it really wasn't necessary, but that's the way like, I come off sometimes and I'm just like, all right. Funniest moment throughout school. Okay, actually I'm gonna list two of these cause, and I'm sorry for both in advance to the people that I have. You'll, you'll just see, you'll see. Um, so basically, one happened in elementary school, and you know who you are when I tell this story, if you're watching this. So basically, we made up this water game. So yeah, you would have to like put water in your mouth, and then you just make each other laugh. And one time I made her laugh so hard that she ended up like vomiting, like actually vomiting, like not just the water, but like, you know. Just... And I got in trouble for it, but it was pretty funny. Sorry. The other one happened freshman year, and I kicked off my friend's toenail. I didn't mean to, but it happened. Sorry. How many countries have you visited? None. What was your favorite worst subject in high school? So my favorite, I didn't have one. Uh, my worst subject, definitely math and English, so. That's that. What is your favorite drink? Um, sweet tea for sure. Freaking, it's like an addiction. Um, animal, probably an elephant or a bunny. I mean, if unicorns count. And my favorite perfume, it's over there, but I don't want to get it. Um, it's like this Miss Dior one. It's literally my go-to like every single day. Um, what would you name your children? I don't have a boy name in mind, but for a girl, I've been thinking about this for a while. Like, it's just, in case I do have a girl, I would want to name her Janice because it is the name of my grandma and I never got to meet her. So that is the girl name that I have in mind. I mean, it's very old fashioned, but I mean, I, I like it, so an option what sports do you play i currently don't play any what have you played uh softball track and field basketball tennis i think i tried volleyball for like a little bit like i i didn't ever really like, play on a team but like i tried out for it or something i don't know um didn't like it freaking hurt man who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Bethany Moda and Gabby DiMartino. How many boyfriends have you had? Four? Favorite memory from childhood? I honestly couldn't think of one last time and I'm not even gonna try to think of one now. So I, I don't know. Maybe that it was less stressful. That's for sure. I miss that. How would you describe your fashion sense? Girly for the most part. What phone do you have? I think it's an iPhone success. A bad habit. The fact that I feel like I open up to people like too quick, like before I can even like really trust them. I don't know. Which I realize how ironic that is now since I'm doing a like 50 facts about me, whatever. Um, three things that upset you. When people die, I guess. Um, when someone I care about is being mistreated or when I'm being mistreated. And three things that make you happy. My boyfriend for sure. Always has. Probably always will. My friends. And just like 
having time for myself, like doing whatever I want to do. I mean, makes me happy, I guess. How is your relationship with your parents? Pretty all right. I would say I'm definitely closer with my dad, but I mean, they're both pretty all right. What's on your mind? The fact that I'm doing this video again. What's your talent? I feel like that was one that was already like said, but um, just like being an artist, I guess, I don't know, like one word that describes you, childish. A favorite quote, um, I don't know if it's a favorite quote, but it's definitely one that I believe in. Um, good things come to those who wait. That may sound really cheesy, but I mean, I think it's a pretty accurate quote. Quote, oh my god. Quote. <laughs> so I try to relate that to my life as much as possible, and I mean, it gives me patience. So <laughs> that's something I don't have. Extrovert or introvert? Introvert, I believe, is like when you're like shy or like, you know, like not very outgoing. So I would say that I'm not. I'm left or right handed? Right handed. Do you consider yourself a good cook? Not really, um, like at all. I can't even make oatmeal, so. Uh, does your name have a special meaning? I think it's just like angelic, so. I, like, I don't know the meaning, but I think that summarizes it. If money were no object, what would you want for your next birthday? Honestly, for everyone to just like get along, cause that's, you know. If you could live anywhere in the world where Paris, because I just like the whole idea of it, the whole like style, the, um, there's a word, I just, mm. um, favorite thing to have for breakfast, pancakes for sure, freaking, favorite gadget, my phone I guess, longest relationship, uh, like a year and seven months, I think, around there. Um, favorite color, pink. So these were the two additional questions I had, and I don't really know if it adds up correctly. I'm <laughs> no math expert. Uh, my last question is, want any future pets? Um, the only one I've wanted for quite some time is an Australian Shepherd. They are just so freaking cute, man. I already have a cat, and she's gonna live for quite some time, so after her, I'll just have an australian ship i guess that is it for my 50 facts about me video hope you enjoyed give it a thumbs up and subscribe thank you for watching that's that